Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a holiday home decor tour. That is kind of a mouthful. Holiday home decor tour. I just thought it would be fun to share with you guys kind of how we decorate our house for Christmas. Now, I do need to put a few disclaimers, caveats, quid pro quo. We have seven children. If you are new to this channel, we have seven children. Uh, we have two dogs, three cats, and a partridge in a pear tree, which means we do not go all out with with decorations. We don't have a whole lot of like breakable stuff and things like that. So like, keep in mind, I just want you to like calibrate your expectations. Our decorations are, these are just like our fun family decorations. If you are looking for Pinterest worthy inspiration, I don't think that's what you're going to find here today. But I just wanted to share with you guys our decorations because I love seeing how other people decorate their house for Christmas. I think it's really fun. I feel like we have a fair amount, but we don't have a ton of decorations. Um, we are just slowly each year building. And also, I kind of have like two styles of decorations that I like. I like really pretty, girly, feminine whites and golds and things like that. And then I also really like a rustic feel. So you're gonna notice there isn't any like one size fits all theme to this house. All right, so the first room on our little tour is our living room. So for decorations this year, we just have a few simple things. We have this star, which I picked up from Marshalls. This is the adult tree. This is the tree that I decorated um, to kind of be like the nicer tree in our living room area, which is kind of more of a formal area. Um, you'll see in the kids' room that they had their own tree and they decorated themselves, but I have that cute little let it snow sign up there. Again, that is probably from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. We do have a small little nativity right here, which is just darling. Again, I think this was like super cheap, I wanna say from Walmart, like the first year we were married. So it's a little sentimental, so I hang on to that. And then this, you're probably wondering why I have a beat up box of something. But this is just a box of the little characters from Muppets Christmas Carol. And if you know me at all, you know how much I love the Muppets Christmas Carol. It's actually our Christmas Eve tradition is to watch Muppet Christmas Carol. We watch it every single Christmas Eve. It is the only time we watch that movie. We watch it once a year on Christmas Eve every year. Like I said, we just have the tree and I have never really been able to like decorate a fancy schmancy tree. So it was really fun. The tree itself is from Walmart. It is one of their flocked trees. It was a really good deal. I will link it. Um, it was on sale when I bought it. It was like $40 off the price that it is now. And then I just bought a whole bunch of fun little like balls. <laughs> I don't even know what. I don't even know what, you guys. I just bought stuff and I stuck it up there. Like I said, I'm not an interior designer. Lower your expectations just a smidge. That is from Michaels. And then over here, this cute little wintry blanket um, with the little palms on it, so cute, is actually from Amazon. These cute little flocked trees were again from Marshalls. And then the stockings, we bought all new stockings this year so that we could all coordinate now that we have seven children. This one is Caddy Wampus. I'm gonna be super honest with you, I have no idea what order these are in, somebody moved them. I don't really know what's happening here. I had them in um, I had them in age order of our kids. So Kennedy, Shelby, Rosie, Noah, Jonah, Ivy, Amelia. That was the order they were in. The kids did something to them prior to me filming this. So I apologize if anybody is like super detail oriented and does not like to see that kind of mayhem. I apologize. I'm sure that hurts you. Um, this is a really pretty, just like flocked garland. This is um, from Walmart, and I have to tell you guys, I have been really impressed with Walmart's quality of their like flocked garland and stuff. It's, I don't know, I think it's really pretty. And then I added these little pine cones. Fun fact, I did a video on my channel like two years ago showing how I made these little pine cones and I made garland out of them. Super old video. But yeah, so I just stuck those up there. And then I also added these little lights, the little LED string lights that are battery operated. Those are from Target. And I added them to that, these side trees as well. This cute little wooden deer. Um, are from Marshalls as well. As you can tell, I like to get things from Marshalls. And then my adorable children, here's the babies. They should be hung, we tried to hang it, but it came crashing down. So we've gotta get some different hanging, hanging things to get that hung, but it should be hung. As you can tell, I find a lot of my decor at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, Target, those kind of places. I'm very basic like that, very basic. Okay, 
And over here, oh, hello, there I am. Below our TV, we just have this cute little setup here with some wintry friends. Just this little fake candle that um, you just, it's battery operated, so you just turn it on and off. This cute, I could not resist this little um, snowbird thingy. He's just so cute with this little fur scarf, how adorable. Cute little reindeer, little tree, Bath and Body Works candle, and that um, is just something from uh, Walmart, actually, of all places. And then over here on this side of the room is just um, our little wingback chair, and we just have a little snowflake pillow right there, and then this little wooden sign that says Be Merry. I got that at Marshall's, and it was a, I think it was like 20 bucks. I mean, it was such a good deal. I had to have it. All right, and then this is our little eat-in kitchen area right here. All right, so these are like our little styled bookshelves and our little coffee bar. Real life, that should say something really cute and Christmassy, but it doesn't because, well, that's real life. So eventually that will say something very cute and Christmassy. But alas, we will continue with the tour <laughs> on the top shelf. Um, let's see, the decorations that are Christmas decorations. Yeah, just that little tree. I think that came from Hobby Lobby. The little sign that says Wonder, and that was from Target, I believe, the whatever it's called, like Spots Corner. And then again, we have some more of the little LED lights, battery-operated lights. Just a little white tree here, hanging out with my llama friends. We have our little um, countdown to Christmas calendar. Let's see. Oh, got some Hershey Kisses hiding in there. I'm sure the kids are probably have eaten days that they're not supposed to. That's what children do. Got another Christmas candle burning there and then this cute little tree tower. Um, you know, I'm not even sure. I think this might have actually been for Marshalls as well. So that is this side of the room. And then over here, we just have this burlap Merry Christmas sign, and I actually made that. I actually made that sign back when I ran my photography business, when I did Christmas pictures for families. I made that sign as like a prop for them to hold. So, now it is repurposed as a Christmas decoration in my house. Again, another cute, sweet little tree from Walmart with some little cranberries and pine cones on it. And hopefully you can see that. Those are like gold-tipped little pine cones around the base of it. All right, and then we come to our dining room, which is very, very minimally decorated. Um, I just have this table runner that I got from Marshalls, some crazy amount of gold stuff in a jar. I don't know, you guys, I don't know. I, that's one of those things that's there, but I don't really like it. <laughs> And then over here is where we have some kind of sentimental things that I like to keep up nice and high away from the kids. <laughs> um, it's the Night Before Christmas book. This was my husband's when he was a child and his parents used to read it to him. So that is very sentimental and we read that particular version to our kids every Christmas Eve. Um, and then this is my nativity. You guys, this is by far like one of my favorite Christmas decorations. This is like if my house caught on fire, I would probably try to grab this before I ran out. When I was in the Congo adopting our son Noah, I bought this from a street vendor there. It's just the most beautiful hand carved out of wood nativity. I love it, love it, love it. It's so beautiful to me. The other thing over here on this little side is the Christmas donkey. Ooh, sorry Christmas donkey. The Christmas donkey, the book and the little stuffed animal. Um, when I went to the mountains for a girls trip with some of my mom friends last year, the author of this book was there signing them. So she signed the book to my children and we read this every year and the cute little donkey that goes with it. He's part of the story. Then here on our steps we just have some garland. It is usually lit. Uh, the lights actually went out this year so we've got to wrap it with some new lights. But we just have garland on the stairs and on our front door we just have a little bell. I think what I'll do is show you guys the outdoor decorations after it gets dark so you can actually like see. You guys, here are our front porch decorations. Now that it's dark outside, we have the Christmas llama because it's just not Christmas without a llama. And they did some ribbon on the porch. We just did some lights in the front trees a little bit. Of course, we have our little reindeer and trees in the front here. And yeah, they just put some garland up, some ribbon. This was all my husband and the kids. Uh-oh, I hear baby crying. Then we also have our porch tree. This one was decorated completely by Kennedy. She wanted to do one all by herself, so we let her do the porch tree. 
So that's up, our big gold bow, door wreath, and this cute little sign that my husband's um, co-worker made. So yeah, that's our festive Christmas porch. 